What is going on, beta gang? I hope you guys are doing fantastic getting ready for the week to start. I'm actually recording this Friday after the bell, and I got uh, some interesting news for you guys. I actually just listened to Kathy Wood. She just put out uh, a new video on uh, essentially the market and the forward and forward looking and, and what to kind of expect in the coming months. So remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And the news, because we like to talk about the news first thing today. But one thing I have to admit is that Kathy Woods. I just finished watching her video. And she's got some interesting insights. If we don't if you don't know who Kathy Woods is, uh, she's the uh, the big the big mamma jamma of uh, Arc Invest, and she's got quite the track record. So I would highly suggest that you Google her name and know who she is if you're going to be in the stock market, because she's essentially the biggest celebrity in the stock market right this moment. Nonetheless, watching that video of her today. Um, it was quite intriguing, especially at the end. If you watched all the way to the end, which I know most people don't like to watch videos all the way to the end, but nonetheless, uh, she talked about uh, essentially a black swan event this year to not just expect us to run all year. She even mentioned that uh, to expect some bargain bin prices like back in March. <laughs> That was quite intriguing. I don't know really what she meant by that. But one thing I could say is uh, I think we are in quite for a correction, um, especially dealing with inflation and everything going on at the moment or possible inflation. Uh, like in that video, Kathy Wood just stated, you know, that um, there's still a lot of things that are coming into play as far as the inflation. So we aren't quite really sure where we're going. But uh, with taxes and what could be going on with the, the Democrats moving in, it could be interesting. But again, we have to see how it plays out. Um, but again, towards the end of the video, she did state that um, a correction and be ready and not to go all in. <laughs> to not be afraid to take profits, says Kathy Wood. So just be aware if you are trying to hold account some of these stocks, there are quite the correction. And that was uh, the most, I think, intriguing. I know she talked about a lot of other different things, especially it was mostly uh, inflation. And um, But she, she dropped a little bit, a tidbit of information. I know she, later uh, next week she's supposed to have another one where she kind of talks about the innovation and stuff. But nonetheless, um, it's going to be an interesting year. I think there's going to be a lot of a lot of gas and a lot of e-brake <laughs> for, for this year. Uh, just so you're aware, I think it, it's definitely going to happen. Um, but uh, let's talk about this this past week uh, before we get into this week. Um, last week, you know, Elon King Elon there, eh, Tesla skyrocketing. Without, I mean, who's really going to short Tesla at this point? Uh, I, I don't think there's any shorts out there. I think that's possibly why. And again, I think our stock market prices again are are just jetting up because of uh, the the thought of inflation. Uh, assets, right? Essentially, all assets right now, asset prices are going sky high. Stocks, real estate. Um, I know even for uh, my personal property, it has gone completely through the roof. Um, just in general. So I know everybody's preparing for inflation. Um, but the good thing is, is there's numbers out too that are saying that everything is, even though uh, the whole uh, the whole craziness is going on in the world, <laughs> uh, you must, you, it's still not affecting the market that much because the numbers are still looking good, right? People are going back to work. Stuff is slowly rolling back out. Uh, I don't know. There's still uncertainty. There's a bunch of different strands. Um, 
we go back on lockdown. There's been a lot of talk about lockdown again. There's just a lot can happen. Uh, so I would definitely just be careful, be wary, and watch what you are trading. Uh, a lot of stuff is at very high prices right now. And even this week, uh, I, I backed out of a lot of the stuff that that I was in. Um, I'm expecting us to really run because uh, we don't really need the stimulus yet. We keep getting more and more stimulus. Um, you know, with the numbers popping back up and everything, uh, job numbers and hours and material building. I mean, some industries are still hit pretty hard, but the majority of it is coming back uh, slowly but surely. And I think this year we'll really have explosion, especially as soon as we can get out the gate and realize that, um, you know, we can go out and be free again, right? <laughs> uh, but ultimately, I think what's really going on here is um and what really i found intriguing uh, especially with the whole kathy woods thing is just to, to really be wary of, of, of what you're doing with at these high prices uh, i've been waiting for a correction i know there's a lot of people i've been on twitter and everything there's a lot of people that are expecting that correction how much of a correction are we going to get i don't know i think we might with earnings around the corner um i think we might get a little bit of a pullback here possibly this week uh, I think maybe this week or next week, well, I, I'm almost guaranteeing we're going to get some kind of pullback. It may not be the big correction for this year because I think we need to get through earnings, and I think earnings will just be blown away, and then we'll have that massive correction. Um, when is that? I don't know. Uh, I know I was originally heading for um, – end of January, but that might be more around March-ish or who knows. I mean, well, my, I've heard a lot of mixed feelings about everything. Um, again, it's all just purely guess. So you, you definitely have to be careful and definitely keep some money on the sideline. So I don't know how you're playing. Uh, I play I play it all pretty much. Uh, I scalp. I, um, I short. I go long. I do uh, long-term swings. I do pretty much everything. So I play options. So the biggest thing here I think to understand is just try to uh, to play it safe and um, don't put all your money on one bet unless it's black. <laughs> but even still, you need to be very careful this year. I think uh, the, with the such uncertainty and all the stimulus, yes, we. I think we're going to jet at some point. But I am definitely going to wait for the correction. Uh, I'm not trying to hold account something, that is for sure. Uh, with that being said, though, uh, like I said this past week, um, that's why I backed out a lot and then a lot of stuff shot up. I was kind of upset about that, but hey, it's okay. Uh, I did take uh, two positions here Friday. I am recording this on a Friday, although you guys are getting this on a Sunday. Um, I took two uh, good positions I talked about on Thursday night on the, the daily like recap, uh, which I'll get into, but uh, it's ultimately CRM and Etsy. I did take, I took uh, took those positions. I took a pretty good size uh, position in Etsy. That's my e-commerce play uh, for, um, for, for basically to cover Christmas, right? That, that's what I'm playing that for, so. But let's go ahead and bring up this chart here. Uh, kind of start going over some charts here. Spy, as we know, we dumped today. But it's just not giving away. I mean, the whole asset thing and everything. I mean, you can play technicals, but I do find that fundamentals do help a lot. right? If you really know what's going on, you can kind of predict the trends with everything. Um, technicals definitely give you good entry and exit points. Um, watch points, if you will. But um, I think to be a good trader, you ultimately have to have both, right? Like you can be, I think you you can be a profitable trader just being solely one. But ultimately, I think uh, to be a great trader, if you can mix the two, because I've always found that perspective, if you can get two sides of the coin and kind of build your own opinion out of that, uh, you can definitely uh, be better, uh, be the best at what you do, right? By having multiple perspectives. Um, it doesn't mean you have to go super deep on one or the other, uh, kind of have a broad, a broad spectrum, uh, have just have a good understanding of the two. Uh, but n nonetheless, um, again, spy dipped 
did today, then shot right back up. And then we hit a new all-time high, and then now we're kind of stalling. Uh, it's hard to predict. I don't know. Again, I, I'm not recording this after the Sunday bell, so I don't know how we're going to open up. Um, I can say which way it could go, and then it could go the complete opposite way. But um, I'm still looking. I still feel like we might correct it. I don't think we're going to really correct. I think it's going to be one of these quick little dips, maybe even dip down even like to a 200 and get a good bounce and then start rallying into the quarter. I don't see us doing a big, you know, 10, 20, 30% correction. I don't see that uh, between now and earnings. It just be a normal correction. And then, um, then we'll, I think we'll jet from that point. And then why we'll definitely watch for black Swan because it's going to be in the mix. It's going to be the card somewhere. Tesla just nonstop. I, I have no idea what's going on with Tesla. Tesla's just a beast. Uh, Elon, Elon is the king, man. I mean, he's well deserved to be the richest man in the world. I mean, what he does is trying to better humanity, and that's been his mission from day one. So, you know, more power to the man. Uh, definitely much respect the man, that is for sure. Um, Tesla, again, I feel like this is going to correct quite a bit before we even go into earnings. I feel like all these are going to correct. I just, it's going to happen. You can't just go straight up unless it's Bitcoin. Then it just to go straight up. But nonetheless, <laughs> Bitcoin is just out of control too. But um, that's the that's ultimate hedge for inflation. So if you don't own Bitcoin, just be aware, you should have probably bought some Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, that's definitely the hedge for uh Gold, uh, if you watched Kathy Wood's video, her latest video, she talks about that. Gold is okay, but definitely Bitcoin is is the ultimate hedge right now this year. Uh, companies have been asking about it as well. So just to, just be aware that uh, companies are even starting to buy more in. Uh, we just saw the article about Tesla wanting to buy Bitcoin or some of the assets uh, of Tesla to buy Bitcoin. So... Um, Tesla likes to lead. Just wait for the rest to follow. Again, Tesla, uh, I'm really not trying to enter this until it does some kind of breakdown and calm down. Uh, scalping strictly on this, it's not really high watch right now just because it's so high. Uh, if it is, it would just be a day scal uh, scalp for the week. Um, if midweek, if we you know sell off quite a bit and if we get back down to this uh, 700 mark, I don't know if we'll drop that far. I mean, we could. It's Tesla. If it's included in the S&P or not, I think it really doesn't matter at this point because it's doing it's doing its own thing anyway. Um, but Tesla is just hard to, hard to judge. I mean, people are just buying into Tesla uh, blindly at this point. So, um, you know, I could uh, Tesla is going to run. It's people. That's like the essentially. If you're not in Tesla, you where where you been at? <laughs> Uh, Airbnb. Um, this one today, I was happy to see this nice pop up today. I thought we were really going to push, and then we did not. We stalled out. Although I think we've finally broken that that trend. So if we correct, maybe we're just going to drop back down in this range. I don't really know. I'm still I'm in shares in this one. I don't really plan on selling this one again. I want to try to get earnings right up, and then at that point. Uh, yeah, I'll probably actually sell quite a bit. I'll go back to my uh, mainly uh, cash until I until I see the the correction scalp here and there. I'll take positions here and there that I found are good value. I actually, have some uh, some good ones. I think I'm really watching this particular week uh, that I'll look at taking positions, especially with everything going on. Um, with the virus and everything. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but Airbnb, I'm still in that one. We'll see how that goes. It looks like it's ready to roll. It wants to go. So I'm just, I'm just waiting, just being patient with that one. Uh, Square uh, hit support. Looks like it's selling back off. I might correct bound, back down. If we get back down here to 210, I'm definitely loading up on Square again. Um, Square likes to do this. It hits support and then it sells off a little bit. And then right before earnings, and then jets and breaks all new all-time highs. That's been a pretty routine thing. Uh, Apple, Apple's Apple. I haven't really played Apple lately. Um, I'm kind of just I'm disgusted the fact that it's going to try to make a car. Why are you going to compete with Tesla, Apple? Just saying. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, Apple's Apple. We'll see what happens. I haven't been playing it. 
Uh, I've been watching some other stocks. Some other stocks, I think, are moving better, just in my opinion. Uh, I almost took Facebook today. I did have an original zone here. I just kind of remapped some of these today. Uh, I almost took this today. I really debated it. But it had some bad news out the gate. I can't remember what it was. I think they were getting sued for something. And so it's crashed down. And I wouldn't. I, that's why I didn't take it today. Um, Facebook, it, it's, a, it's always a good one for, uh, for a run-up for earnings. I may or may not take it. It's still debatable. Etsy, again, one of them I took today. Um, it bounced strictly out of the zone. I actually bought uh, bought the dip on this one today. Or here. Uh, yeah, I bought it today here because it was holding this, uh, this zone, essentially. And I bought it today, and bam, she shot up. And I was like, yes, and then bam, she slammed back down. <laughs> But she's looking good. I mean, uh, I've been looking for e-commerce play. I've been debating about, about Etsy for a while. It did break out of the wedge. Um, so that's one thing I liked about it. Um, Etsy's kind of the hidden one. Like I was debating between this and, and pins. I was looking at Amazon, but um, I don't know. Amazon, there's just so much going on with Amazon right now. So I feel that Etsy, especially with... Uh, I think there's just really going to be explosions with all the stimulus and everything and, you know, Christmas and all that stuff, the earnings and stuff. I think it's really just going to explode. And so I took my position now. I'm planning on holding this through earnings. So even if we dip, I will add to Etsy. Uh, that is my plan with Etsy. I think Etsy is really going to explode. Uh, so I'm planning on building a pretty decently sized, although I got a, a nice size in it now. I'm looking to add more if it does dip down. I'm not worried about Etsy. I like Etsy, um, like the company, like its uh, fundamentals and everything. So I, th I think it's actually better than pins. Um, yeah, so my vote's with Etsy. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I am in this. Uh, I'm in shares, CRM. I am in a couple of shares of this as well. Not heavy at all in this, but it did break. Uh, I did get in this early too. I got right here, perfect catch. Uh, popped up and then stalled, came back down, but it looks like we're ready to pop back up. So CRM, I am a CRM and Etsy. Those are the two new ones today. I believe I called both of them out yesterday and I got in both of them today. Uh, being said, did I scalp anything today? I think I did scalp something today. I can't remember what it was. I, I was too worried about taking positions on these that I didn't scalp Tesla today. Oh, I scalped a Baba today. That was the one I did. The news about, um, oh, I did scalp a couple. I, scal I did scalp Tesla a little bit today. I did scalp Airbnb a little bit today. Um, but um, I scalped Baba because they were talking about Baba. The list, I guess, of delistings is supposed to come out on Monday, I believe. If that's the case, I think they said Baba wasn't going to be on that list of being one of the ones that would be delisted. And so it popped today. And so I caught a I caught, um, nice little run on that pop, a bunch of, about a bunch of um, same day contracts. So I made out with that one today. That was my, my primary as along with uh, those two. Uh, these, these are both share positions, the Etsy and CRM positions. Uh, again, I wanna hold these until earnings. I was looking for some earnings plays um, I found these two to be good. Again, these are just run-ups. I'm not going to hold these into earnings, um, maybe to the day um, of earnings or the day before earnings, um, and then I'll sell out of these. So it's just trying to catch the run-up on these. Uh, ZM, this is actually one I wanted to bring up. I've been talking about this over the past couple of days. It's actually consolidating, and I'm going to build a position on this with everything locking down again. We, we could see that 600, I, I've got a feeling we could see that $600 run up again. Uh, there's there's just so, the fear is starting to come back. And I know the VIX, the VIX is holding that support. So actually I wanna be surprised if Sunday we open up down, we gap down. Um, yeah, I definitely would not be surprised if that's, that's what happens. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens on that. Uh, so Z ZM uh, Monday, come Monday, if this thing isn't gapped up because of the gap down, <laughs> it 
because ZM likes to be the uh, the inverse of the market, uh, especially with everything going on. And if we get locked down again, um, ZM is definitely one I'm, I'm checking out and seeing. Uh, Nvidia is also another one. Um, I'm not actually upset I didn't grab this one that fell off the side of the earth here, but it's all good. Um, NVIDIA is one I am watching as well. Um, we'll see about this one. I'm not really sure. I like the consolidation on this. There's still, there's a, there's been a lot of consolidation on this. Um, so it's just buying the dip. I think ultimately the best way to do it is probably play just, uh, if you can get a deep enough dip, yeah, if you can grab a leap out of there. I know the NVIDIA leaps are pretty expensive, but um, might even look at just shares in NVIDIA. I'm trying to think. We even try to retest the 600. That's what from, uh, where are we at now? 530. $60, $60, $70 move. Not bad, not bad. I mean, that's I'm keeping that on watch. ZM, Nvidia are definitely ones that are on watch. Uh, it's CCRM are on watch. Um, Tesla, Airbnb, SQL are always on watch. Uh, BYND, I was kind of mad about this. It was looking good again, like we were gonna break up. Everything looked like it was going to break up and just start running again. It looks like all these look like they were going to reverse and then it slammed back down. I'm playing this new range. Um, I'm not worried about this. I'm holding on to this for the earnings run up. I really think it's gonna break out. It's just analysis wanted to, I think, get this price down so they can get in for the run up again. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So uh, not really adding to this until I see uh, possibly a reversal and start climbing back up. Um, snow, oh man, I was mad about this. I talked about this uh, yesterday, the gap, and then just kept going. Uh, it, come back, it comes back down, we'll see. It's already starting to sell back off, so I'm actually surprised to see it selling off. We get that correction comes back in here. Definitely be watching that next week. Snow will be on another more one. NIO, I know, has got that uh, thing going on tomorrow. That event. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I still got that leap. Um, those leap puts uh, is my hedge right now. So we'll see. I mean, it's still holding well. Actually, the premium started building quite a bit actually because it was a it was in the red a little bit on it. Um, but it actually, I was in the green by the end of the day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the premium, the premium was building her nicely at the, at the end of the day for NIO. So it'd be interesting to see what happens tomorrow to come out. All those numbers are uh, falsified and it's, it's, we wake up and it's down at 40. Well, then that'd be awesome, but we'll see how that goes. Um, the very good butcher, uh, just holding, um, this and planet 13 have just been holding playing range. That's kind of why I got of them too. I'm trying to reallocate stuff. Uh, it may just hold until we get a correction and then it might drop back down. That's what I'm kind of thinking. You go, Jen. I mean, all these, these pennies that I play are, are doing that. I don't really care about Bango. I almost took one on space. Space looks like it's curling up. That could be a good one. Uh, if you're going to play uh, leaps, be a nice $10 move. I need to keep space on watch as well. Uh, space B1. Let's see what do we got here. Uh, 3D printing. I think 3D printing is kind of odd. Like it has these pops and it just stalls out. I think we might, to be honest, you know what this is probably going to turn out to be. I won't be surprised going into earnings um, if we get, if this actually starts to wedge, to be honest. I guarantee you this thing is going to start wedging into earnings. This is the base here. I guarantee we start base and just bam, 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 all the way until probably a week out from earnings and it'll break one way or the other. That's my guess. Uh, planters, uh, upset, I sold early, popped, now it's selling back off. Everything's just correcting. 
everything again is just too high. It's all rolling over. Most of it looks is rolling over. Waiting for a hundred on that one. T doc is insane. Should have held it. It's all good. I sold out down here. It's all good. Everything everything just looks like it's most of it rolling over except those couple that I have listed. ZM, uh, Etsy, and I really like Etsy, uh, CRM, and uh, ZM for next week. Uh, again, those are be longer swings for those ones. I think those again are primary shop. Uh, E-commerce just seemed like it woke up today. HD. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, oh yeah, tattooed shaft is, is still building this nice flag. It's nice. It's a really long bull flag here. Might actually get a huge rip out of this. Um, I don't know. I got a lot of other stuff. I don't really care for this company. Uh, but yeah, the the move looked like it's gonna be there. Where it goes, I don't know. But if you want to get in that, go for it. Uh, Amazon. I didn't even see Amazon today. Amazon, Amazon's just been playing this garbage. That's why I didn't get an Amazon. That's why I liked it. I like the uh, pattern better uh, Etsy. Um, it's kind of one of those those sneaky stocks too in e-commerce. Uh, so I'm really looking. That's why I took that one. I took that position for that one instead. Uh, yes, I've been looking at this one. This one's actually quite quite interesting. I think they're supposed to get FDA approval. This uh, is BIIO. Uh, because they're doing tests on your phone, you get tested uh, tested on your phone directly. So that would be interesting uh, if that gets FDA approval. I know they're trying to rush it through. Uh, I was reading an article where this they're thinking this stock might actually run to eighty. Um, if that's the case, uh, that might be very interesting. So I'm watching this one. If it does correct at all. Uh, and drops back down to like maybe um, a fifteen dollar mark or so, maybe even a twelve fifty. Might actually look at taking some leaps on this. Um, you know, if I can get some leaps, I haven't even looked at the leaps. I I just find out about about the stock. But if I do get some leaps, if I can get a year out at um, that eighty price point, you probably get those super cheap right now. To be honest, um, this might actually be one. That might be worth a, a little bit of a little gamble, right? Nothing like too crazy, but something you can uh, you're okay with letting go. If it makes it, it makes it, or if not, if not. But uh, if it makes it, you're gonna get paid <laughs> nicely. <laughs> uh, I think uh, that's pretty much what I got. I think everything else I'm kind of just waiting on. I didn't really see anything. I think, like I said, those those couple that I had. Are my primaries? I always watch the same. I always watch Tesla, Airbnb, and Square. I mean, those are always good for for like scalping. Those are my like primary scalpers, and Apple and Facebook are my my primary scalpers. Uh, Etsy, I like is my e-commerce play going into the into the earnings, I'm trying to capture all that run up with that. I think we're really going to explode and break all time highs on this. Actually, I think we'll blow well past the two hundred. Um, where or oh, where will we land? I have no idea, but uh, I think it's definitely gonna be awesome. CRM, I'm really hoping we finally get that curl up and start really pushing on here. So I'll try to capture some of that move going into earnings. Uh, at least try to get back to that 260-ish mark. Uh, ZM, I like. Um, again, I might actually start loading up on this uh, pretty heavily if it stays in here. Um, but again, nothing too crazy. But if we do go back down on lockdown, which could be a real possibility with uh, uh, the presidency being blue, um, I could really see this uh, just ripping back up again. Uh, I know a lot of people think it's overrated, but nonetheless, I mean, they still have that market. And they are new to the space, but they, they have that market. So people know Zoom and they... They like it, I guess. I think it's okay. It's not bad. I, I enjoy Zoom, but again, Nvid, uh, Nvidia is also one of them I'm watching next week. So those primary four, uh, if you're looking for longer swings, I would look at those. Um, those those are kind of what I'm looking at for my longer swings. Again, shorter, 
shorter uh, trades and stuff like that are always these, these high, these big beta names, big company names. Uh, NIO, again, that's, uh, that's my hedge. If shit hits the fan, NIO to the floor, and we'll pay for that. And space, space is, again, space is also one, and snow. Space and snow can be also good long swings as well. So, and uh, yeah, essentially all these right here, right? Etsy from Etsy, ZM, NVIDIA, uh, BYND, snow, and uh, space. I think those are all awesome uh, long-term swings. If you're looking to hold those, probably a couple months, maybe a couple weeks, depending on how quick uh, the run-up is. Um, mainly, uh, if I would swing these, I'm more looking at like earnings. It'd be more earnings play. So, uh, for just a couple of weeks, uh, get what you can out of them. And then, uh, for me, I'm going to definitely cut, uh, the day before the actual earnings date. Um, so do your due diligence and, and find the dates on those. And then, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's what I got for you guys. So. I hope you guys are doing great. Drop your watch list. You know what you guys are looking at. So uh, I showed you mine. So you might as well show me yours. So nonetheless, uh, till next time, guys. Remember to hit the like button on the way out. And I'll see you guys later. Later. Peace.